When we say that Helen Heron goes the extra mile for East Cooper Meals on Wheels recipients, we mean that quite literally. She's been driving Route F on Friday since 2003, and she sees her recipients as part of her family. She visits them if they are ever in the hospital. She takes out the trash for those who have mobility challenges, and she even drives them to the salon or doctor's office when they have appointments. One time, a recipient had no way to get to Greenville, South Carolina for a funeral. Helen didn't bat an eyelash and drove her recipient three hours north just so that she would have the opportunity to pay her respects. I've been doing Meals on Wheels for, I guess, approximately 10 years, and the way I got into it was a friend of mine was delivering, and she recruited me to ride with her on occasion so that maybe I could be a substitute. She up and moved on me and left me holding the bag. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so I've been doing it all these years because you develop relationships and attachments and they become extended family. And I've got one remaining person from the from my original route mm -hmm. and that was Clarice that we just visited a few moments ago. But um, you just, they know your children, they ask about your children, they sort of see them grow up and we just become family and they look forward to seeing me and I look forward to seeing them. So that's the deal. Great. <laughs> It's not surprising that Helen's recipients greet her with hugs and smiles. They often ask about her children, who occasionally still help her deliver meals, even though they've grown up. The recipients also ask about her work. Helen has been a flight attendant for over 30 years. Based out of Charlotte, North Carolina, it's not uncommon for Helen to land early on a Friday morning, drive three and a half hours to Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, load up the car with coolers, and then deliver meals to everyone on her route. Being a Friday driver means a bit more heavy lifting for volunteers like Helen, as we want to ensure that folks have enough to eat over the weekend. Helen carries coolers filled with hot meals for Friday's lunch and frozen meals for Saturday and Sunday, as well as up to three cold meals for anyone who also relies on us for supper. Though she started out just planning to be a substitute driver, Helen has become a valued member of the Meals on Wheels family. She's helping us deliver a meal and so much more.